Well, good morning, boys and girls. It's good to see you this morning, and uh, I'm going to take you through the stuff that we've been learning. Remember, I mentioned this book last week, and uh, I know some of the kids in our church have grabbed copies. So if you'd like to grab a copy and read ahead, talk about it with mum and dad at home. But we're learning about the gospel. Can anyone remember what the word gospel means? I talked about it last week, really short. What's the word gospel mean? I can understand if you're Andy, what's the word gospel mean? Good news. Well done, mate. It's momentous news, world-changing news. And remember, we learned it was about Jesus. We're learning five fingers. Jesus died, was buried, rose for our sins according to the Scriptures. Well done. And then we did the first box. Remember, I encourage you to learn the first box. I'm going to do my great drawing. Remember how good my drawing was? And uh, this was the drawing we had last week. And that was the first box, which was about creation, that God made the world. He made the world very good. He made us in his image to rule the world under him and to give him honour and glory. And do you know what? This week you've, you've enjoyed how really, really perfect and wonderful and very good the world is, haven't you? Yeah, I haven't. I've been tired. I've said nasty things. I've thought horrible stuff. I've even done some stuff that hasn't been friendly to others. I haven't actually reflected God in the image that I've got on me. I've told some lies. I've thought some nasty things about other people. It hasn't been a very good week for me. You guys might have experienced that too, haven't you? You you might have watched the news and you've seen that there's wars going on. You might have had stuff in your own family and you've kind of gone, oh, that's not great. You might have even thought some onion stuff in your own heart and thought, oh, that's really ugly. So what's gone wrong with the world? What's happened? What's the one word that tells us what's wrong with the world? Giselle, can you remember? Sin, Giselle, it's great that you remember that word. Not great that we do it, but great that you remember it. It's a word called sin. Sin's a really simple word. What's the middle letter in sin? Tell me what's the middle letter in sin? I. I. In fact, that's the middle letter in sin all the time, isn't it? I. I'm the boss, not God. I'm in charge, not God. I decide what's right and wrong, not God. I'm the ruler, not God. And do you know what? If you put, I don't know how many kids here, I'm just going to take a guess. If you put 25 little gods in a room together, do you reckon they're all going to get on? No, they're not. Do you they're all going to look after each other? No, they're not. Do you they're all going to care for each other? No, they're not. In fact, what this does is it damages us, it damages each other, and it damages the world because I want to be God. Now, I'm going to show you the picture for that. Okay, It looks really similar to the picture we had before, Okay, but it's got a couple of differences. Okay. It's got all the same pieces, doesn't it? But what have I said to God? I've said, go away, God. Uh, I can be a better God than you. And I'm going to rule the world. And do you know what? Do you reckon it makes the world better or worse? It does. Just a really glum kids talk, isn't it? Okay. But we're going to learn more today about why the world is broken by What was that word again, Giselle? What's By our sin. And what's the middle letter of sin? It's... I, because I want to be God and not God. All right, I think there's a picture up here about it. Is there a picture up there on the slides? Next slide. Yeah, there you go. The Bible tells us that we've all gone astray like a bunch of lost sheep and we've decided to do God's job for him and we haven't done it real well. That's the picture. You've got that picture in your kid's sheet. If you've got three versions of that picture in your family, what might you do with two of the others? What was that, Georgie? You might give them away to someone else so they can put it on their fridge, they can laminate it and they can share it and learn it as well. Why don't I pray? You're going to grab some kid sheets and then we're going to spend some more time as adults learning about sin. Let's pray. Father, thank you that you made a very good world. We're sorry that we've broken it with our sin. We're sorry that we've broken ourselves, each other and your world. Thank you that you confront us with this truth. Please forgive us. Amen.